The .CMS Auto Updater is a built-in feature available to all clients with a valid enterprise license. This video demonstrates how to use the Auto Updater to upgrade your current .CMS server to a newer version. Before attempting an upgrade, it is important to watch this video in its entirety and follow recommended steps for a successful upgrade. When you log into .CMS, you will be alerted to the availability of updates to your current version. Clicking on the Update Available Alert opens the window that informs you of your current version, the latest update applied to your version, and the number of the latest release version available. The information links lead to the release notes and important information concerning the newly released version. Make sure to read the change logs thoroughly before attempting an upgrade. There's also a link to this video so you can revisit the auto update process. Upgrade documentation can be found in the administration section on the .CMS documentation website. Here you will find small differences in the steps needed based on your environment platform, how the auto updater works, and a list of command parameters that can be passed when running the auto updater. Command line access to your .CMS server is needed to run the auto updater tool. Before attempting an upgrade using the .CMS auto updater tool, make sure you have a complete backup of your production server database, assets, and indices. Use backups to launch an upgrade testing server. Shut down that upgrade testing server. Run the auto updater tool on the test server. After the upgrade test, all websites beginning with any custom code or plugins that might have been affected by upgrade code changes. After validation testing, repeat the process to get the latest data from production and then switch the DNS to the new server. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the auto updater tool to update this 2.3.2 version that I have running locally to the 2.5 version which you can see is available here as a new update. So what I'd like to show you first is where actually this server actually lives. This is where this server is stored. These are the files for this server they're running right now. Here are my assets. And here you can see in the same main directory there is the auto updater. And you can see the auto updater.bat here is to run on Windows and for like Linux environment Unix you can run the auto updater.sh. Running either of these will actually update first the auto updater itself and get the latest auto updater, then it will actually update your .CMS instance looking at the version that you're on and looking at what update is available. Of course, this is also a .CMS Enterprise feature, so it will also check the license on your instance. It will first download the available update to this auto updater folder, and then it will use that downloaded file to update your .CMS instance. So let's go ahead and run the auto updater tool now. Okay, so here you can see I am in the directory of my .CMS at 2.3 instance and you can see there's an auto updater folder and the .server folder here. So I'm going to dive right into the auto updater folder. And before I run the command, I'm going to shut down my .CMS instance, which you can see running here. So I'm going to shut it down. So here I'm running the shutdown command. Once my instance is shut down, now I can go ahead and run that auto updater command. So now I'm just going to run the auto updater.sh since I am on a Unix box right now. And this begins downloading the newer version of the auto updater, downloads, and then it starts downloading the new version of .cms. You can see here is the .cms 2.52 version. So then we'll just uh, wait for that to download and then it will ask us if we want to update to the new version. After the download of the upgrade file, it will ask you if you wish to proceed and remind you that you will need to shut down your .CMS instance to run the auto updater. It will also remind you to make all the recommended backups before attempting the upgrade. So now I'm going to type yes to upgrade the instance using the downloaded files. We can see now that our .CMS instance has been successfully upgraded to the .CMS 2.5.2 version. After upgrade here on my Unix edition, I'm running some chmod commands to add execution permissions to these directory files, and now I'll be able to restart my .cms instance. And we can see that the .cms is now started up, and now once we go back to the browser and we log in after a refresh, we will see that there is no update currently available. And if we look at the information about our current .CMS, we are running the Enterprise Prime 2.52 version, and our site has been successfully 
upgraded. Of course, we should go through all the standard validations procedure we talked about earlier, especially with any custom functionality that has been written for the site, custom plugins, etc. And that is how to use the .CMS auto updater tool to successfully upgrade from one version to another.